Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the energy of love, okay? And see what is going on in your love life and what is coming towards you, okay? Um, this is a pre-recorded video. I am spending the day with my family today and visiting my uncle. Um, definitely send all the prayers and high vibrations um, in this direction, if you can, all right. Um, and the next few videos will be pre-recorded, okay, just so I can have a few days with my family. So let's take a look here for the love situation for the Aries Collective. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. What is the love situation for Aries? Give us an overall energy here for the Aries. Please take what resonates, leave the rest behind. This is not everyone's situation, but whoever needs the message, you will know if this is for you. All right, so the card we have is time. Time, and it says you are trying too hard, give it time, okay? Situation in your love life, you may be trying too hard, give the situation time. Can we get one more here? One more for the Aries. What do they need to know about? And oop, oop, a lot coming out, but I'm gonna take the one that's flipped over. And you have soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Some of you could already be with your soulmate and there's a situation that is you're trying to bring about and spirit is saying, hey, Give it time. Maybe something needs to heal. Um, give it time. Um, if some of you who are single, a soulmate is coming in. Maybe you're manifesting a soulmate. Spirit is asking you to give it time, right? There's something here that's going to be happening in divine timing. Could be an apology, all right? But there is a soulmate connection here. So I'm going to pull four cards from the Situation Love Oracle deck. We have the coffee cup and it says meeting and talking, savoring the moment, feeling elevated, building a friendship. What else do we have here for the Aries Collective? Girl with a snake. Uh-oh. Um, charmed or used enable boundaries. Soulmates again. Soulmates again coming up. And it says soul connection, partnership, soul contract, life partner. And we have the phoenix, the phoenix. And it says, um, new phase, rekindle, renew, and growth, changed mind, rise from the ashes. So Aries, I wonder, like this feels like a very good energy here. Except the girl with the snake, charmed or used, enable boundaries. It's interesting, when I saw this card come out, I immediately thought some sort of interference. Now, it always it doesn't always have to be a cheating thing, but there could be sometimes people sticking their noses in your relationship, right? Maybe a friend, maybe family. Family is good for that, right? Putting in their two cents or making something difficult here. Hmm, all right, we'll take a look at that a little further. At the bottom of the deck, there's passion. Insane chemistry, sparks, and having fun equal interest, burning desire. So again, we have the coffee cup, which talks about meeting someone new, meeting them for conversation, or just the beginning stages of a relationship, the friendship phase. Girl with a snake, okay, enabling your boundaries. Don't allow yourself to be used or charmed. And we have soulmate, soulmate connection, life partner, soul contract, and Phoenix, rising from the ashes, renewing a situation, or a new phase that is coming from something quite difficult, okay? Let's see with the, where are these? These just popped up into my mind's eye. What are these? I, I forget what these are. These are the OG deck. This is the OG deck. This is the Do Doreen Virtue cards. and I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> All right, this is one of my first decks. This is actually, two of the same deck combined. So if the same card comes out, it's like double confirmation. So let's see here. This is for Aries. Let me know in the comment section if you remember what this deck is called. All right. Um, 
is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. What do we have here for Aries? What is the energy Aries needs to see or know? All right, did that want to come out? It didn't come out, but let's see what it is. Let your friends help you. Ask for and ask for and accept support from others. Hmm. What does Aries need to know in this situation, Spirit? Forgiving and learning. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. What does Aries need to know in this situation? Passion. I knew that was prevalent for something. It's at the bottom of the deck. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Put this here. All right. Deception. There's some sort of deception here. Um, okay. And it says someone is wearing a false self mask. All right. And that one came out and this says worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay. And so that was the overall energy as well. Time, time, timing. All right. Let's pick some of this up. One second, guys. My nerves get bad and there's too much clutter and I have a little bit of clutter. <laughs> a little bit hold on Sack this over here there we go I gotta, I gotta that's crazy OCD I gotta make things look neat okay <laughs> or I'm gonna be distracted <laughs> okay I'm gonna put this over here and there all right now I can zone in okay <laughs> soulmate at the bottom of the deck Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, so two cards of soulmates. Passion, we're seeing passion twice. Worth waiting for. Divine timing card is twice. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay. Hmm. Girl with the snake. Soulmates. Phoenix. All right. Let's clarify each one of these first, and then we're going to go into a Celtic cross. All right. <clears throat> Tell us about the coffee cup. What do we need to know about this? Ooh, that came out quick. Ace of Cups, definitely. New love, new beginnings. New beginnings, new emotions, new feelings, meeting a new person or a renewal of love. Tell us about the girl with the snake. Two of Cups, relationships. Is this the person? Let's see. Let's see. High priestess, sneaky secrets, hidden situations. Um, yeah, in the sun, two of cups, a relationship. Friends, two of cups can be friendship as well, but we'll see. Soulmates, tell us about the soulmate. <clears throat> Is someone you are in love with being sneaky? All right, tell me about the soulmates. Seven of Wands, stand your ground, protect something, defending something. There could be opposition within a soulmate, a soulmate connection because the Seven of Wands is needing to stand your ground and protect or defend something, overcoming certain obstacles if you stand strong. So could you be having obstacles within your connection, in your soulmate connection? Tell us about the Phoenix. Tell us about the Phoenix, the King of Swords, truth, clarity, assertiveness. Okay. Seeing something for what it is. This could be a no nonsense type of person. This could be you Aries after when I'm getting tingles all up my legs. Now this could be you after healing from difficult situations. Because the King of Swords has his full armor on. He's been through a lot, but it's made him wiser, stronger. I want to see about the Two of Cups. Can you tell me about the Two of Cups, Spirit? Tell me about the Two of Cups here in this situation for Aries. It's a soulmate connection, but it's underneath the girl with the snake. Charmed or used enable boundaries. We have the Six of Wands confidence forward movement success we have the four of swords healing healing thinking meditation rest um and we have the ten of cups healing a relationship 
ultimate relationship, the wish fulfillment, page of swords, somebody's watching, spying. I feel like, okay, I feel like that this girl with a snake could be representing someone watching the relationship. Could be an interference. I have the page of swords, which could be curiosity, spying, looking in, asking questions. Now, okay, so we kind of get a little gist of that. We'll get deeper into that and see what that's about. I feel like that's somebody looking in or peeking in onto the relationship. Okay, let's start here, the Celtic cross, and see what's going on in this situation. We're going to put these over here. So I have some of them. Show me clearly, Spirit, what this situation is about for Aries. Now, this is interesting. The sun just spit out towards me. I saw the sun behind the high priestess, too. So sometimes that can be about revelations, things coming to light, new beginnings, abundance, okay? All right, tell us about this situation coming towards Aries and love. Now, I keep seeing the sun. I keep seeing the sun, so let's see. Strong crystals, strong energy. What is this about for Aries? What is this? Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. This could be information coming in. Two of Cups, relationship, soulmate, connection here. Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Hmm. Somebody has something to say. Knight of Swords can be somebody being angry, pissed off. Um, 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 what's this, what's the word I'm looking for? Approaching something, calling something out. Now, this also could be the energy here of someone here who is moving very quickly, moving very fast, but I'm getting the sense of interference almost. And we'll get to that. Uh, what's the challenge here for Aries? What's the challenge? Somebody has something to say, interfering, speaking out of turn, talking too quickly, um, coming at you, coming at you angered or your partner or your partner. Okay. Um, we have the hangman Pisces energy, the difficult situation here. The challenge is seeing things from a different perspective or from all sides or all points of view, or there's something that you're not seeing. And maybe you want to act or say something, assume something, jumping to conclusions and but there's something that you need to see first or you need to know first the hangman is a spiritual awakening it's also enlightenment it's also like a calm in action a pause before you act because there's something that you need to see or know before you act because you don't have the full story in something hmm let's see um what does aries need to focus on in this situation i heard accusing the wrong person Accusing the wrong person. Now, this could be... So how I see this is, it's like maybe your partner... Hmm, this is interesting. It's like almost like a setup type of energy. It's like your partner... Um, okay, so how I'm seeing it is, it's like maybe you could be upset with your partner about something that they've done, but it wasn't really them. And, okay. You don't know the whole story yet. This is interesting. It almost feels like someone on the outside, a third party trying to set your partner up, make them look like they are speaking to them. Now, this is all channeled, okay? I don't know if this is the rest of the reading is gonna be about, but that's the channeled message that I'm getting. It's like somebody interfering in the relationship by trying to set up your partner to make them think that... So the only reason why somebody would do that is if there's a connection to you, Aries, okay? If there's a connection to you. Trying to set your partner up, make your partner look guilty, make your partner look like they're cheating on you, but it's really whoever this third party is who is either trying to tempt said partner or trying to make them look bad so that you can get hurt. Ultimately, it's to hurt you. All right. Whoa. That's a lot. Okay. <laughs> so the Nine of Swords is what came out. When I ask what does Aries need to focus on, Nine of Swords, why is someone stressed out? Why is somebody feeling like this? Why are you feeling like this? Okay. There's some investigation that needs to be done. There's some investigating that needs to be done. Um, calm yourself, calm your nerves, ground yourself, ground your energy so you can see something clearly. 
when you're in this state, the nine of swords energy, it's very difficult for you to see the truth. And that, that doesn't just mean in love. That means in any situation, when you are in this energy here of stress, worry, anxiety, it's very difficult for you to decipher the truth or even tap into your own intuition. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Seven of Wands again. Seven of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Seven of Wands protecting, defending, defending your relationship is what I'm hearing. Okay, standing your ground. Somebody will be. Somebody's very defensive, protective. Um, defending the relationship is what I heard though. Um, let's see what's crowning this situation. For Aries, the Three of Pentacles. Could be a third party, but this is more of doing the groundwork, collaboration, teamwork, working together. It does have three people involved. Could be a work situation. Um, trying to pick these cards up here. I feel like somebody wants to kind of jump off the deep end and assume something. And three pentacles here is like working together, building a solid foundation coming together oh god there's dogs barking outside might have to pause the video tell me about what's coming towards aries in the near future within this situation a lot of cards so we have oh goodness we have the magician the magician could be manipulation gemini energy aries energy okay this could be a new beginning, but this also could be a person. And we'll clarify this a little bit. And if this is a person, this is somebody here very, could be very manipula manipulative in a situation. One second, guys. The dogs have started barking outside, so now everybody has to respond. <sighs> Pugsley's, Pugsley's very reactive. Bruno doesn't care. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. What is your energy like, Aries? Knight of Cups. Okay. So is it you being accused of something or is it someone else? Because the Knight of Cups is a very dreamy energy, very romantic, feeling in love. Okay. Following your dreams, following your heart, or at least wanting to follow your heart. Tell me about what's in, in them, but I'm seeing the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands and I'm seeing the Knight of Cups could be like, I really love this person. I really want to believe this person. I want to pursue this person or want to be with this person. But something is burdening me. Something is burdening me and I don't know how to feel about it. Tell me about what's in Aries environment. We got the Seven of Pentacles. To me, it came upright. It was a Side down, but it came up right. Seven of Pentacles. This is contemplation. I'm investing in something, but could this be long term? Is it worth being long term? Is it going to pay off? Me investing in this situation, in this relationship, is this going to be a waste of time or is this going to be, is this going to be worth it? What's in the distant future here? Aries, what's coming? Okay. Two of Cups, relationship, soulmate connection, equally yoked, understanding each other, beautiful connection. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck in the middle. Tell us the outcome to this situation. And then we can start clarifying. Hmm. So the outcome is the Justice card and the Nine of Cups. Getting the wish fulfilled, getting the wish, the desired outcome, the desire wish, being emotionally content and fulfilled and the justice says you deserve this good karma good fortune good fate lessons learned but you get to get your wish fulfillment and you are seeing the truth of a situation a karmic situation karmic situation you're seeing the truth you know what i'm getting 
It's like somebody tries to interfere on a relationship. It feels like a new relationship, something coming in. Now, you may have already experienced this, or this could be confirmation for you. But it feels like somebody tries to um, come in the middle of a relationship. But spirit, energy, it's just like, it's not going to happen. It may look like it's going to happen. It may look like they, this person may have caused confusion, deception, and chaos in your relationship. But the fact of the matter is spirit is saying, this is your time to be happy. So whatever, the, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe in the past, something like this has worked with maybe this person or other people, and you still had some sort of karmic lessons to learn, right? Maybe you weren't with the right person at the time, right? And so you've learned some karmic lessons. But in this situation, it feels like somebody tries this with the wrong person and the wrong people. You know, maybe before they tried to come after a partner or do something like this, but the person that you're with right now or you're about to be is not going to fall for this. The Nine of Cups says you get your wish fulfilled. You get your desired outcome. And the Justice card says nothing is going to stop that. You deserve this. You deserve this desire. You deserve this wish fulfillment. You deserve this outcome. So let's start clarifying. So girl with a snake, it doesn't have to be just girl, it could be a guy, it doesn't matter. There's some, the girl with the snake is representing some sort of interference between a soulmate connection that is literally brought in by the divine. This girl with a snake messed up, okay? I don't know who this is. This could be like a jealous sister, brother, sibling, a friend, a family member, right? Maybe you have a family member who always tries to interfere in your relationship. Somebody, somebody who doesn't want to see you happy. That's what I'm getting. Somebody who doesn't want to see you happy. <clears throat> if my child checks for this Amazon truck one more time, I swear to God. And throw the package away <laughs> when he gets here. <laughs> Let's take a look and see what's going on. Let's clarify the magician because that's kind of irking me. That card there is irking me. Let's see. What is this about? Is this something that has manifested for you, can't be reversed? Or is this somebody trying to interfere? Didn't come in reverse. So I don't know. Let's take a look. What is this, spirit? What is the magician? Ten of swords at the bottom of the deck. I need my Alani because these kids here. Tell me about the magician. The judgment. We have the judgment. Tell me about the magician. Too many cards. I'm going to put them back, but I want to see it. Two of Wands. The King of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. This is kind of like somebody's in contemplation. They don't know what to do. They don't know if they can trust somebody who seems to be committed. There's a person who seems to be committed. Now, Aries, this could be someone who is on your... Okay, I had a brief interruption because Amazon did come to the door. And then when I started recording again the the mic was muted <laughs> okay so i've clarified the magician and the judgment and i got the nine of wands but i got the five of swords first actually yeah nine of wands and the five of swords now these four cards are clarifying this card okay so i was asking what is this magician energy here that is coming towards you well if you're describing a person you're describing a hurt person and hurt people hurt people, right? I feel like this is a third party interference, okay? I'm just say that. Now, a third party doesn't always have to be that someone is cheating. A third party could be your boyfriend's mother, okay? Your, a third party could be your baby mama's ex, you know? A third party could be, you know, a trifling friend. It, you know what I'm saying? It could be anybody who is trying to interfere in the relationship, right? Because three is a crowd. Now, when we're clarifying the magician, the magician can be a lot of things. Magician has a lot of tricks up his sleeves and he can use all of the elements and in a good positive way, okay, on a good end of the spectrum, a magician, it can harness that energy 
and utilize it for good and creation. But they could do the same thing. Yes, this is why you always be careful what you ask for because what you, you just might get it. And some people are driven by lust, anger, ego, greed, okay, or some sort of malicious intent. This magician is, okay? This magician is. This magician is... This magician is driven by greed. Let's say first greed, four of pentacles or lack. Greed is usually a byproduct of lack. I'm afraid that I'm going to lose uh, or I've already lost something. And that's kind of what a sense I'm getting is that this person already lost something and they're wanting to hold on to it, okay? Maybe they're wanting to hold on to you depending on who this is. Four of pentacles. The only reason people want to hold on to things is because they're afraid that they won't get anything else. Whether that's a lover, whether that's money, whether that's whatever. People are in the Four of Pentacles energy because they are afraid more may not come. Okay? Do you see it all the time in relationships? People will stay in toxic relationships because their self-worth is low and they don't believe that they'll ever get anybody who loves them just as the way this person probably first loved them when they love bomb them. Okay? Um, you know, or trying to make something something into what it used to be okay so people want to hold on to the idea of something four of pentacles and i can tell you that's exactly what this is because the nine of wands says that this is toxic nine of wands says that in the sense like this this is like holding on to something that is hurting you sure it's perse perseverance but it's holding on to something that hurt you that wounded you time and time and time and time again and you're what you're saying is i don't care how bad i get hurt I'm going to hold on to this thing, right? Because whatever reason, at some point it made me feel good. Now, what is a double whammy, the five of swords and the magician together is a very manipulative card. This means the type of manipulation where I'm going to lie, chill, cheat and cheat and steal to get what I want. And I don't care who I hurt. Okay. I don't care who I hurt and the judgment. This is something coming back up from the past. Okay. Now, this feels like a third party interference. Third party, is it your ex Aries interfering and trying to manipulate a situation? Is it your person's um, ex, baby mama or whatever, trying to interfere? A family member, a friend, it's something here that the situation is coming back from the past. Now, like I was describing before, it doesn't feel like whatever this is is going to work because in the distant future, we have the two of cups. It seems to be that the relationship, the soul make, make connection thrives. It, it's okay. It's, it's fine because in the outcome, the nine of cups in the, in the, uh, I'm going to say the temperance and the justice says you deserve all that you desire. You deserve your wish fulfillment. So we have this deception here and we have this girl with a snake. <clears throat> Someone is wearing a, a false self mask, charmed or used, enable your boundaries. All right. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. This was the first card that came out. <clears throat> Tell me about the Knight of Swords. The Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords. The Knight of Swords, the very first card is the Knight of Swords. Someone is angry. Someone is pissed off. Could somebody be defending you? Is this your person pissed off because you're hurt Aries for some reason? Did you get some information that puts you in your head that you don't know what to believe? Okay. Spirit wants you to focus on, remember what was in the focus position is the nine of swords as well. Why are you feeling this way? What is the truth of the situation? Let's clarify the nine of swords down here. What spirit wants you to focus on? We have the Hierophant, the truth, spiritual lessons, could be relationship. Tell us more about the Nine of Swords, the Page of Wands. That can represent a message, communication. It could even be a friend. Okay, what is this? Tell me about the Nine of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Hierophant, the Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning. A new beginning, some sort of blessing, an apology, maybe an opportunity. Tell me more about this. <clears throat> mm. And came out crossing the page of swords. Now, at the beginning, this was at the bottom of the deck. Crossing, this looks like somebody watching, interfering, asking questions, or spying. Hmm. 
or what I just heard, putting something into your head, okay? Putting something into your head. Do you have a friend who is kind of like dropping things into your head? Like, um, how do I put this? Maybe insecurities or, you know how sometimes you have those people around you who you feel are your friends, but they always have something negative to say about your situation. It's like they're trying to rain on your parade almost, you know? Well, girl, he's really not all that or da 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 but there's some sort of intention behind that. Tell me about the seven of wands in the past position. Page of cups. Yep. Seven of wands, page of cups. Stand your ground against someone here who feels good, feels nice. Page of cups with the fish in the cup. I always point that out. Something could be kind of fishy with these feelings or emotions or things that they're telling you. Someone trying to get close to you, page of cups, the spirit is saying to stand your ground, don't believe everything, don't allow this interference. Page of cups can be emotionally immature person. All right, so we have three pages out now. <clears throat> cups, wands, swords. Tell us about Aries energy and the Knight of Cups. Ooh, Ten of Swords. Knight of Cups, Ten of Swords, betrayals, backstabbing, feeling, you finding out some sort of truth that is hurtful by who? Look at that. The Magician again. The Magician. Tell me more. And the Knight of Cups again. The Knight of Cups clarifying the Knight of Cups. Give me one more here. Six of Swords in reverse. Unable to move forward because you don't know the truth. There was definitely some sort of malicious intent, backstabbing, or painful discovery. Tell us about the Seven of Pentacles in Aries environment. Con contemplating Knight of Wands. Tell us about this Knight of Wands energy. And the Emperor. Passionate, fun, exciting, has a lot of sex appeal, attractive charismatic the night but the emperor says i don't so i don't play i don't you know even though somebody is all of these things they are very boss life in control of their yeah the justice card upright upstanding three of wands here moving or focus in a positive direction tell us the outcome with the justice and the knight of cups five of cups in reverse Clarify that. Five of Wands in reverse. And the Sun upright. I'm telling you, something was unsuccessful. There was some sort of manipulation, or we'll say with the Five of Wands, drama, conflict, arguments. But the five of ones in reverse is saying that it was, it didn't, it didn't pan out like someone expected it to. Okay. Um, five of cups in reverse. Somebody could regret the interference, the arguments, the drama. The sun says something has been illuminated and there's a happy ending. I keep seeing the queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. This also could be like child support, baby mama, you know, baby daddy, something like that. It could be something like that. Tell me about the three of pentacles, eight of pentacles, paying attention to the details of the situation and the death card, Scorpio energy, putting an end to something, third party situation, friendship or interference. I want to see the two of cups in the future position. We have the two of pentacles, making a decision around the relationship, four of cups, Tell me about the Four of Cups. Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Swords blocking something. This could be blocking something or someone. Two of Pentacles, unsure or unsteady, unreliable. The Strength card holding back. Making a very difficult decision. That's what the Strength in the Two of Swords is. Making a very difficult decision. Two of Swords sometimes has blinders on. But the decision is being made in the will of fortune. This something is moving in a positive direction. I want to just see what the two of pentacles is. We got three twos, two, two, two. What is the two of pentacles? 
the Queen of Swords, and it kind of flipped crossing. The decision, somebody needs to make a decision around someone. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be an ex. This could be a person interfering. This could be a bitter person, unhappy. Intuitively, Aries, and I'm going to ask a few more questions. There is someone who is trying to interfere in a relationship. Who that is, it's going to be different for everyone. It could be a family member. Like I said, I've been through all the different things. It could be someone different for everyone. But the person, for whatever reason, the motive is that they're simply unhappy and they don't want to see you or the person you're with happy, okay? Point blank, period. Somebody, an external person, a third party, doesn't want to see you happy or the person that you're with happy, so they're interfering. The interference is very calculated. The interference is very calculated in the sense that it could be believable because it is causing stress, anxiety, and worry. It is causing a lot of mental anguish and someone is even feeling betrayed. And sometimes you can feel betrayed without anything even happening, right? Because sometimes you have to understand, we have to know what the scope is and the person involved. Sometimes your partner didn't do anything at all and it's just this person being malicious. But sometimes your par partner may not have cheated, but they've done things that are questionable. Why are you even talking to this person? You know, why are you communicating with this person? A little thumbs up keeps coming up, you know, because that looks suspicious. If you didn't do anything, why are you texting this person behind my back or messaging them, right? So that's where I'm feeling like the nine of swords is coming in. It's like, did your person do something or did they not do something? Did they do something questionable? And even in that sense, that could be betrayal, right? Because the moment that somebody does something that uh, puts a question mark in your head, you could kind of count the days on the relationship. You know, there's not many relationships that survive after somebody puts doubt in the other person's head. Because now that starts a period of, oh my God, can I trust them? Can I trust them? Can I trust them? Kind of, there's always going to be a question. The only way that you can make a relationship work is if you're completely honest and vulnerable from the beginning and to the end, right? Because the moment somebody puts doubt in someone's head, you can kind of count your days on that, okay? Because not a lot of people are mentally strong in that way to feel like, okay, everything's okay, you know? So there's something here, Aries, that, and it could be different, it could be different for both people. Either the person, the third party is very, very conniving and did something that was totally totally not your person's fault or your, your person did something questionable. Now, now this could be also you, you know, in the other way around, you know, cross watchers are always welcome. You know, it could be your ex. It could be something that didn't look good. And you know, only, you know, the fact of the, the point of this reading though, is that there is a soulmate connection here. Either you're, you're living in it right now, or it's about to come through, right? Or it's about to come through and this situation could unfold. The outcome I do feel is good because the nine of cups and the sun is here. Those are two of the best cards here in the deck. And it's like, you're getting your desired outcome. And the justice card says you're getting the truth. You're getting the truth. You're getting justice in a situation. The five of cups in reverse, the five of wands in reverse. Whatever tried to interfere and cause conflict or hurt feelings did not work. Okay. All right. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the reading. Take care. Bye. Okay. I'm back again. <laughs> One more time. I'm going to string this video to the end of this video because I had this in my mind to pull from these cards during the reading and I forgot. So I just want to pull some Mystic Goddess Confession decks to see, clarify and see what this energy was about before I put the cards up. All right, Holy Spirit, Spirit and Angels, please allow me to deliver a clear message here for the Aries Collective. Let's see, what is this about here for Aries? This reading, can you give us some more clarity? Okay, so we got, you're not going anywhere, sex only please, okay? Sex only please. Desire to only be friends with benefits. This kind of puts some things into perspective already. <laughs> I want you all to myself. I want you all to myself. Give me a little bit more. Appearing nonchalant, and it was in reverse. Pretending to be unbothered. Third party is watching, stalking, or spying. Third party is... <laughs> I was about to just shuffle and I wasn't even going to take it. I don't know what just happened there, but it's out. Thanks, spirit. 
Third party is watching, stalking, or spying. Obsession, infatuation is underneath. Give us one more. Ooh. Self-sabotage in reverse. So I feel like the fact that it's in reverse, this is someone else. This is another person. This is someone else. Give us one more here. Show, show us what this reading is about. All right. Last card. Toxic love in reverse. Uh, fatal attraction in reverse. Okay. Immediately, Aries. Immediately what I'm getting here. Now, if this is someone connected to your person, I don't, I'm going to ask, but I don't think they're cheating. I don't think they're cheating. What I think it is, is that there may have been someone that, and this could be someone connected to you too. There is someone here that they definitely had sex with. Now, this could have been a previous thing, right? A previous thing before you. And someone is obsessed. So let's say this person you're dating, they told this person, hey, look, I'm with someone. I don't, you know, what we had was just the friends with benefits type of thing. Um, it was just a friends with benefits type of thing. It was just a sexual thing. I'm with Aries now and I'm not saying it overlapped. It didn't even have to overlap, right? Somebody could have came back or somebody, their ex could see them with you now. And then now all of a sudden they want them back. So this person is telling, your person is telling this person, hey, don't want to be with you. This was just a sex thing. This was just a friends with benefit thing. I'm with somebody now, Aries, who I'm committed to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, right? That person is like, no, you're not going anywhere. You're mine. They're digmatized. They're pematized, whatever. I want you all to myself, okay? There's something here. They're in love with your person. Toxic love, self-sabotage. Um, apparent nonchalant. Now, I don't know if this is someone you know, okay? But we also got the third party is watching, stalking, or spying. We also got the fatal attraction card at the bottom of the deck. If I can't have you, no one will. So be careful with that. I want to just say this. I want to see this. <clears throat> when they were committed to Aries with a cheek. Hmm. I feel like there could have been an overlapping or maybe in the dating stages before that you were committed, but there's definitely something here, Aries, where if you're with this person now, I would ask questions. It seems like they would tell you the truth. Look at that page of swords is coming out now. There's a tower here. They would tell you the truth and they would tell you what happened, but the Knight of Wands is more of a dating energy. It's not really a commitment energy. It's a, you know, sex with this one, sex with that one, we're dating, nothing serious. I feel like though something kind of is going to get exposed or blow up in some way. But the fact of the matter is someone's being truthful. Someone is being dishonest. I do feel like you could get the truth out of your person. I don't feel like your person is the dishonest one. Now, of course, if they have a history of being dishonest, then that's another story. But what I'm asking and seeing here, I don't feel like, I feel like there could have been still some thing. And this is where the lines, can be, I guess, can kind of get blurred because people have different People have different opinions about this. If you're dating, dating is supposed to be fun. Dating has no attachments. You know, you're dating this one, you're dating that one until you find the right person. In that stage, sure, communication should be open and honest and things like that, but there is no commitment, all right? Some people have different feelings about that. Now, once the commitment is made and says, hey, I'm committed to you, that comes with a lot of responsibilities. Should, shouldn't be too difficult if they love you, right? I'm honest with you. I'm not cheating on you. I'm being with you. I do feel like if this was something still going on, it was in the non-committal part. Knight of Wands says non-commitment, okay? So, and someone is telling the truth. Somebody is spying too, Page of Swords, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. Take care. Bye.